Okay, so I've just done a quick software update check on my S8 and I can see that there is actually a brand new update to download. So just going to have a quick look at what's new here. We should be able to see it in the Samsung Members app, so if I just bring that up. Right, so thank you for participating in the beta. Finish all your backup of your data. So bug fixes, Galaxy Apps is intermittently forced closed. I haven't noticed that because I don't use that. Battery consumption is excessive. Well, that is something I would like to test actually, which is why I have this clock here behind me. Uh, RS sensor is not responding, so the camera not responding. Device freezing for longer than five seconds. Yep, I have seen that happen. Samsung theme force closes, haven't seen that one. Messaging force closes whenever emoji is selected, didn't see that either. Settings are intermittently force closed. Sometimes device overheats and reboots while playing a game. Notification doesn't appear when reading a message. Sorry, disappear after reading a message. Haven't seen that one either. Phone is definitely not recognised as a memory card. I don't have a memory card. Sync errors with Samsung Cloud. Failed to log into the Samsung account. Device sometimes reboots during idle. Failed to recognise CalCal Bank ID card. Device ran randomly vibrates. That's a scary one. Wi-Fi is turned on while playing video on the internet. Picture not shown in the gallery. Playing motion photo forces closes and game tools intermittently forces close when starting a game. Thank you from the UK beta team. Okay, well, I haven't experienced a lot of those, um, but it'll be interesting to see the battery consumption results because I'm just about to test the battery consumption as it happens. So if we have a look, this is the current build details. Right, I've done the time lapse of the battery drain for the third beta update. So what I'm going to do now before revealing the results is actually just install the beta 4 update onto the S8 here and we'll just test a couple of things like the boot speed and obviously the battery drain as well to see if it's improved. Okay, so I will install the update. We've seen what current versions we're running. You can see the amount of lag that we are getting with this current build is uh, almost unusable, which is a shame. So hopefully this will really improve the speed of things. As you can see, I'm clicking on things here and not much is happening. Right, we're finally there. Okay, I'm not sure why that took so long. Incredibly frustrating. But um, let's see how we get on with the actual install. What I'll also do, I know the phone's almost fully charged, but I'm going to plug it in anyway while we install this. And we'll see how long it takes.
Right, so the update has finally finished. That did take a long time. Uh, so let's see what software version we're up to now. So these are the new kernel versions. Build number. Security software details. And we've still got the, we're on the December 1st patch now. Okay, so that was the update process. It took about oh, at least half an hour to complete, which is quite a long time, but we're done. So now I'm going to do the battery drain test to compare this to the Beta 3 update and see if it's any better at all. Please leave any comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. See you again in the next video.